This is Sarita, physical science teacher. I am here to discuss about physical science concepts. Yes. So students, before entering into our topic, our concept. So let me share with you uh, one conversation between my friend and me. Yes. So students, uh, last week I visited my friend house. Uh, then she was cleaning her room. Yes. Then I observed the all things are uh, uh, kept around the room and uh, I uh, on the floor kept around things. Uh, so I have observed that very clumsy those are appearing. And uh, I asked her what's the matter? Why are doing these all things? Means she was uh, explained that uh, somebody was uh, going to be visit her room. So that's why she is cleaning the room. Yes. So but I couldn't stay for longer time there, and I came back from there. Yes. So here, why I am telling these are things? Yes. Here, these are uh, conversation and these things observation here related to our topic. Yes. So I have observed there different uh, types of furniture and clothes and things, shoes, books, materials, whatever not. So the all things I have observed there. So these are all things we will observe in our house and everywhere and in our surroundings. Different things we will observe. Yes. So what these things are called? Yes. So, students, you have learnt uh, in earlier classes, 7th and 8th classes, about metals and non-metals, acids and bases, synthetic fibers. So, these what are these all things? Yes, these all are things called as uh, materials. Yes, nothing but matter. Yes, today we are going to be discuss about the matter around us. Yes, so what is the lesson name? Matter around us. So, what we will discuss in this lesson? Matter around earth. Yes. So, in this lesson, we will discuss about a uh, matter and definition of the matter and uh, the matter, how does exist in the nature, how many states it will be available, and uh, uh, the atoms of the mat uh, atoms of the uh, material or uh, what are the existence of the atom in the material. We will observe these all concepts in this lesson. So, students. Let me start our lesson on the uh, topic of matter around us. Yes, let me start. Let me know detailed information about matter. So, what is the definition of matter? How can we define the matter uh, uh, in the science expression? Yes, so here uh, anything in this world uh, occupies space and has particular mass is considered as matter. Yes, anything have particular uh, mass and occupied space. Occupied space and has mass is considered as matter. So then matter is made up of what? Yes. Matter is made up of smallest particles. Nothing but how the uh, our how the body of uh, 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 any human being or anything is made up of uh, smallest uh, cells like that. Matter is made up of smallest particles. That is nothing but atoms. So these atoms are in the indivisible particle in material and these are the very tiny particles in material and this material is made up of atoms. So uh, then uh, let me know that what is the existence of matter. Yes. So according to arrangement of atoms in the matter, matter exists in three physical states. Yes. What is that? Means matter exists in three states. Solids, liquids and gaseous state. Yes, these uh, states are interchangeable. Means solid to liquid or liquid to gaseous state. Yes. So, uh, existence of matter in this uh, uh, three states, that is solids, liquids and gases, then how can we express the uh, uh, atoms arrangement and uh, uh, atoms arrangement in solids, liquids and gases? Let me know it. So before knowing that, let me see that properties of solids, liquids and gases. What are the properties of solids? Yes, here let me show you. This is a box. Yes, this box have particular shape and uh, length, uh, breadth and sort of uh, height. Yes, so this um, then we can say that this uh, solid state have particular mass. Yes, it has mass and a volume and particular shape. And these solids, uh, states, uh, solid materials are rigid one. Yes. So we can say that solid materials have particular mass and uh, shape and uh, volume. And uh, inter uh, means uh, atoms arranged in solid 
in a fixed manner that means closely packed manner there is no gap in between the atoms in solid states yes then what about liquid state so liquids so when we take the best example of uh, liquid is water yes we are observing i know this uh, uh, liquid what is the what are the properties of liquid yes so if i take this water if i take the water if i take the water in the bottle then this uh, water gives the shape of this water and uh, volume of this uh, sorry shape of the bottle and volume of this bottle if the if if you take the water then a uh, water gives the uh, shape of this bottle yes so means water gives the shape of the container water doesn't has particular shape yes but have particular volume no shape and uh, shape of the liquid depend on the container and uh, liquid have particular mass and uh, volume yes then gaseous state what about gaseous state yes i am showing here empty bottle so is this empty bottle means what yes nothing but air will be present and in our surroundings everywhere air will present yes and we are breathing air and we are releasing air yes so nothing but oxygen and uh, taking taking oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide yes so this is nothing but gaseous state here Now, uh, what are the uh, properties of gases? Means nothing but what are the properties of gases? Here, these uh, uh, what is the uh, uh, gases? Uh, neither have shape nor the volume. Means nothing but uh, best example, uh, the gases uh, uh, we compress the gas uh, in a small volume cylinder which we are using for our dom domestic purposes. Means nothing but CNG. cng and uh, lpg gas lpg gas we are using uh, for our domestic purpose and uh, cng gas it is using in the vehicle yes for running the vehicles we are uh, using the cng yes in a sure purpose they will use that yes these are the means uh, gases neither have shape or not particular volume and uh, what are the arrangement of atoms in the gaseous state yes here uh, atoms will arrange uh, Uh, with a lot of space in between it in between them yes but in liquid state atoms arrangement there means certain gap will be present in between the atoms so when we come to the solid state arrangement of atoms yes uh, there is no gap in between the atom but in liquid state there is some gap in between the atom when we come to the gaseous state there is a lot of gap in between the atoms so due to uh, arrange of this atoms Uh, then uh, uh, properties of the uh, different states of the matter also vary yes so we can uh, uh, give the difference uh, difference of uh, this uh, different materials means that the matter different uh, uh, existence of the material solids liquids and gases and atoms uh, in a particular uh, nothing but atoms in a different uh, states of the matter solids liquids and gases so students i hope you understand about this session about the definition of matter and the properties of uh, uh, solids and liquids means nothing but existence of matter and what are the solids liquids and gases properties and how the atoms will arrange in the uh, solids liquids and we have the process of compressibility in this session yes here what is the mean of compressibility and where do we observe in our day to day life uh this compressibility process yes so uh, students you might have observed that uh, the uh, cylinder uh, means that the cylinder gas uh, which is highly compressed in that gas uh, m means that the in the cylinder means a larger volume gas compressed in the uh, small volume cylinder yes so means this is a nothing but compressed process what we are observing in our day to day life and example uh, we we have to take out the cream from this uh, tube then what we have to do we have to apply the force and we have to press it then nothing but compress we are making uh, this volume to we are reducing volume and uh, we are uh, taking out this cream yes so here what is the uh, how can we define the compressibility yes we can define the compressibility means uh, reducing the volume from large volume to a uh, small volume means the gas uh, which is compressed uh, which is compressed into a cylinder of the small volume is nothing but
compressibility process. Then, how do we absorb this compressibility process in different states of matter? Yes, to know about this, uh, we have one activity. By that activity, we can identify uh, in, in which state uh, compressibility is uh, takes place more and less or very less. So, let me see that process. So, here, uh, for this uh, uh, activity, we have to take syringe. Means, uh, uh, we know already, you might have seen that uh, in the hospital, uh, nothing but to inject the medicine uh, for our, in our body, they will use the syringe. Yes, uh, injection, nothing but. Yes. So, here, uh, this uh, injection part, nothing but syringe part have three, uh, nothing but this one have three parts. That is, uh, what is uh, syringe, nozzle, syringe and piston. Yes. Uh, yes, these three parts we can observe here. Then how can we uh, give the, how can we express the compressibility process uh, by using this uh, uh, material. Yes. Here, uh, when, uh, we, uh, they, uh, when you uh, uh, draw the piston, then you, uh, the air will be filled in the syringe. Yes. Then uh, you close the uh, nozzle of the syringe and uh, uh, you uh, press the piston into the syringe. Yes. So then what we will observe? After some time, you will feel hard to uh, move in, uh, move into it. Yes. So means here what will happen? Uh, we are compressing the air. What will be present in the syringe? Yes. Then after then we have to observe the column of the air. Uh, means the different height of the uh, air column. Next, uh, uh, in the same syringe, we have to fill the water. We have to draw the piston and we have to fill the water in the syringe. Then we have to close the uh, nozzle um, with our finger. Then again we have to uh, press the piston uh, into the syringe. Then uh, after moving uh, inside, uh, then uh, we feel hard. After some time we feel hard. Then we can observe the uh, column of the water. Yes, column of the water and uh, uh, we have to uh, note down what is the height of the uh, column of the water. Next, uh, in third condition, we have to take the same syringe and uh, uh, we have to uh, fill the uh, salt in there. Uh, yes, and then we have to uh, move the piston into the syringe. Then what do we observe? Piston not move in further direction. Yes, means nothing but what do we observe here and what can we uh, uh, conclude in this activity. Yes. So, here height of the uh, salt uh, means uh, salt column and height of the air column and height of the water column when we observe, then uh, height of the salt column is uh, more than height of the water column than height of the air column. It means nothing but what is here uh, in the first uh, condition air is compressed more and uh, uh, we can observe the less uh, air column means uh, higher air uh, air column height is very less uh, than a uh, water column and uh, height of the water column and height of the uh, salt column yes then after this air liquid what is the height of the liquid column yes uh, it is uh, somewhat more than the air column next what about the salt column Yes, height of the salt column is more than the air column, height of the air column and height of the water column. Then what can we understand? So what do we conclude by this activity? We can say that solid we cannot compress. Yes, we cannot compress the solid. Not, cannot be compressed. Cannot be compressed. And a liquid. Then, uh, less we can compress less and uh, gases we can compress highly yes by this activity we can understand that gases are highly compressed uh, than solid and liquid state materials so students i hope you understand about the process of compressibility and uh, uh, how how this compressibility vary in different types of material yes thank you